Simulating scenarios in 3D allows us to assess the impacts of a real-life project or plan. Using ArcGIS 10 and the 3D Analyst extension, we can do better analysis that saves time, helps us be more efficient, and in the case of security or military applications, can even save lives. So I'm really excited to show you what I think is some fantastic analysis. Let's take a look. Some problems just can't be solved in the 2D world, and I think this is a great example of one of those problems. Here we're looking at a development that is going to be built on top of this hill. Now the requirements are that from these observation points we see in the background, the buildings can't be visible at all from these points of observation. So we have some unique tools at ArcGIS 10 that we can use to address this. So I'm going to search for the uh, skyline tool. So we're going to see the skyline tools and I can run this tool on one of these observation points or I can use these tools in a geoprocessing model. So I'm going to open up my geoprocessing model and here we can see the skyline and the skyline barrier tools. So I'm bringing in the points of observation, all six of them, so I can run them at once, an elevation, and what we're going to get is a really interesting analysis. So let's take a look. So here we see the skylines that have been created in these 3D uh, fans that have been placed from the observation to the mountain. So let's turn those, those fans off, and here we can see the skyline. So from each point of observation, this is the maximum uh, uh, horizon that can be seen from that point. So you can see these blue lines correspond with uh, the blue observation point. So I'll turn those barriers back on, and these fans are actually shown from the observation point, meaning that this is what we see from this point. Anything underneath these fans will not be displayed or viewed from these points of observation. So to continue answering our, our question of building heights, we can come in and turn on or generate some random lines, and I can just do a simple intersection. So here we see these 3D lines extruded. I can take these 3D fans and just intersect them right across these lines. The ending result is going to be the, the maximum height at which I can view uh, or not see these buildings. So here we see those lines and uh, to, to better represent what we're looking at, I'm going to convert this line out to a, uh, a raster surface, which I have already done. So let's take a look at that final result, turn off our lines, and here we can see uh, a, a map uh, showing where we can build and what height we can build in these particular zones. So I'll turn on my table of contents, come out. Here you can see that the area in green, any structure over four meters tall is visible from my observation point onto the pink and white area. We can go up to 30 to 40 meters and not be visible from the road. So this is certainly a unique scenario that we can use the powerful analytical tools in ArcGIS to solve. Your decisions have real-world 3D impacts, so why use 2D to solve them? Take advantage of the analytical capabilities of ArcGIS 10 to extend your analysis to the 3D world. Thank you.